We're here in San Francisco in the beautiful Bay Area at the third annual uh, convening for the social capital markets, also known as SOCAP 11. And right now, it's a real treat because we're here with Pascal, who is doing some incredible things and has done many incredible things. Aside from being a, a serial entrepreneur and working on multiple projects across multiple companies, Pascal's also been a venture capitalist. Um, and today, he's working on the Mozilla Innovation Accelerator program with a bunch of, from what I can tell, creative geniuses and a team of top-notch engineers to help really help define the future of the web and explore that. Um, and so, of course, my first question is, what is the future of the web? What are you working towards? Um, it's very much, um, especially uh, when you look at the web, the web being um, such a, 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 still a, such a new medium, mm. Um, it's, it's very much up to us what we want to make out of it. Mm -hmm. And to give you just a very simple example, um, with the rise of the uh, smartphones, especially iPhone and Android, yep. um, we suddenly see app consumption uh, taking the form of apps. Absolutely. So people like, don't go to websites anymore, they go to you know, their Facebook oh. app on their phone, yeah. which is a very different form of consumption, mm -hmm. um, which, to be honest, like we wouldn't have imagined. Yeah. Um, it's people driving this, this force, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so, short answer to your question is, I really don't know what the future is, but it is in our hands to create it, which is the exciting thing. So, how, how do you stay on the bleeding edge then of those trends, right? How, how do you predict where, where it's going to be in a couple months and stay in front of it? Working with web technologies, the, the beauty of this is that we have the ability to um, prototype very, very easily and very cheaply. So it's very easy for us to say, well, we've got this weird idea of, wouldn't it be nice if I could sign into a site by clicking a button in the browser, for example. Yeah. And I can have a single engineer for a single week, which is you know, cost-wise nothing, yeah. and prototype it and, and play around with it and see how it feels and give it to other people. Yeah. Um, so for me, really, like the, the creation process is very iterative. It's very quick. It needs to be very, uh, it needs to be very tangible. I don't like to talk too much about things, Absolutely. but like really get into the weeds and let, you know, let, let these things yeah. grow and build. This is a curiosity question. Um, what brings you here? What brings you to SoCap to focus on the social capital markets? Right. Um, looking at the entrepreneurial startup scene, especially here in Silicon Valley, um, and seeing incredible talent wasted, and I'm sorry to say that, but wasted on you know, creating the next social gaming, photo sharing mobile website, um, it just makes me sad. Um, and you know, knowing that there's so many unsolved problems in the world, I, I, it just like, I'm, I'm just, it saddens me that we have entrepreneurial talent not address this, that, and that there's an abundance of entrepreneurial talent you know, Broad looking talent. at kind of weird things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So I I very much agree that there's a lot of raw entrepreneurial talent that isn't being leveraged in a way that has a very real impact and could. Um, but how do you help inspire that shift? How do you get these entrepreneurs to think differently about their companies? I think there's a couple of components to this. Um, one component which is uh, I think underestimated, and I think we 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 ought to do more about this mm -hmm. is. Um, understanding that I, I completely understand the need of like or the wish of an entrepreneur to say you know I want to have a big payday at the end of the day yeah. you know I spend you know 80 hours a week building this thing I basically give up my personal life and you know I want to build this thing and I want to have some sort of exit um, which I think we can address in uh, and we need to address much much more in, in social capital markets yeah. right so we need to we need to be uh, more creative, we need to be like uh, more inventive in terms of business models, for example. I think that there's still like a, a huge uh, need to be cr more creative with like creating business models which actually work in this environment. I think there's still this, this perception that um, if you do something socially good, or in our case, um, even if you do something open source, um, that there is no business model and there's no, no money and you are like, you know, like the starving, um, you know, left-wing Che Guevara t-shirt wearing, you know, long-haired dude, yeah. which is not true, right? right. I mean, That's there right. is enough examples of like people who do great things in, you know, mixed business models. And the funny thing is Mozilla is the best example, right? Mozilla is a, a hybrid non-profit organization. I mean, you know, we, um, we are very successful at what we're doing. Well, I think with that, we're probably out of time, but this was really a privilege. And I look forward Thank to you. the next conversation. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you very much, Mike.